My name is Nathan Baruch Sakhain, son of Bernard Baruch Sakhain. When he came out to America, this is in 1918, he was very young, 19 years old or so. He came to New York, didn't like New York, came to Los Angeles, didn't like Los Angeles, and went to San Francisco and stayed there. In May of 1943 uh, was the fall of the Warsaw Ghetto, where 300 members of my immediate family died, and including my grandmother, his mother, died. I was born in December of 1943, so my father changed very dramatically after that, his mother being killed, and his atheism became much deeper. He said, my mother was such a religious woman, if there was a God, why would he allow her to die? So I like to say I was born in the equivalent of Munch's scream. Because from my father admitted this high-pitched, hysterical scream that he that didn't hear, you couldn't hear. He was, he was just the way his feelings were, you know. And he painted prolifically on Holocaust themes after that time. He went back and told his family, leave in 1939. It's not like the other times. It's not like a pogrom where some people die, some people live, and you keep on going after the smoke clears. It's going to be a totally annihilation. Get out of here. He said, well, our people have always been in this situation. The angel of death has always passed over. We can't leave. And they, they own seven city blocks of Warsaw. We can't leave the businesses. We can't do that. He said, you'll die. Leave. Take money. Do what you have to do. But get out. He went back in 1941 and told them the same thing. He made his monument to the Warsaw Ghetto, which is now, it's now at uh, Mount Sinai Cemetery. The central figure who is, who has the, uh, is surrounded by spikes, the little boy, that is the central theme or the heart of this exhibit. And that one my father called genocide. Genocide is always the, kill, the killing of a child because even elderly people are children as much as the children they produce and the children they produce are children. So genocide really means killing children. That's the ultimate point of it. Now different people showed up uh, at that time. The man in the back has a cannon on his shoulder. He joined the resistance. He's a revolutionary and he's ready to fight for the freedom and the lives of his fellow people. The man with his thumbs in his belt, my dad named him not involved. And why is he not involved? He just says, ah, this is not my sort of thing. It's not my business. These things come and go. This is what happens, you know? He didn't lift a finger. He was orthodox, but not very not involved. He didn't want to be involved. The woman behind is lacing up her bodice with laces. She is ready to sacrifice everything. Her, her breasts are symbolizing her womanhood. She's binding them so that she can fight alongside with the men. Now in the front is the Orthodox Judaica holding the Holy Torah. As far as he's concerned, these cuttings and goings in this world are not of great consequence. So they come, so they go. But he keeps the Torah, he's keeping the faith, keeping the flame, the, the spirit of the Jew Jewish religion. Uh, come hell or high water. So he's not involved in the picture. But my father's uh, background in Orthodox Judaism and his rejection of religion altogether in became, becoming somewhat of an atheist. Uh, to him, that was another sign of weakness. 
he looked at that man as a weak person because he could not fight for his people. Uh, of course, people are defined by their beliefs, so he was keeping their beliefs, so it's a little hard to say what the real story is there. Last but not least is this teenage girl up on the hill. I don't see it in her hand, but she had a cloth and in it a butcher knife. And she has naked breasts. What she would do is seduce the SS man. She was an assassin. Using her beauty, her youth, her charm to, uh, to have vengeance on the Nazis. These are all concentration camps. Dachau, Flossenburg, Salonsky, Strasshof, Schadrup, Kulhoff, Charmol, Buchenwald, Bobby Yar. So Treblinka was the closest to Warsaw. So I imagine that my ancestors' family all died there.